Tsuge Fujin. So good. I want to eat the tin. Welcome to the disclaimer portion of the video. Please note that I am an independent person. Anything that you are hearing, seeing, or whatever in my video is my opinion and my opinion alone. I am not being paid or endorsed by any pipe maker, pipe tobacco maker, website, or any purveyor of any of the products that I'm showing here. If I praise it, it's because I like it. If I trash it, it's because I don't. I understand I have a different palate than everybody. So when I review a tobacco, this is based on my own personal tastes. So please take that into consideration with my reviews. And as always, thanks for watching. So welcome to our next tobacco review. This one we're doing, Suge Fujin pipe tobacco. This is a ribbon cut tobacco that is not um, considered an aromatic or an English or anything else. In fact, according to tobaccoreviews.com, this is in the other category. This is a uh, tobacco that's actually blended by, if we look on the back, see it says uh, Drew Estate. So I don't know if you're familiar with Drew Estate or not. Uh, if you are, they do some really good cigars. Um, they have some other good pipe tobacco blends, but uh, they definitely know what they're doing when it comes to uh, tobacco stuff. So it has this really cool artwork on the front of the tin, which actually, I'm not going to lie, is kind of what drew me to it. Uh, this is a blend of Burley, Dark Fired Kentucky, Perique, Virginia's, Latakia, and uh, from what I understand, it's pretty interesting. So let's pop this tin open. I actually have already uh, broken the seal on it, so let's uh, let's give this a whiff here. Oh yeah, it's got that really nice. Uh, Kind of almost rubbery smell that you get sometimes from Latakia. Um, it's a really strong tin odor, and I'm not saying it's bad. I think uh, it's actually kind of delicious smelling, even with that rubberiness that you get from the Latakia and the um, little bit of that ketchupy aroma from the Virginias. But uh, it seems like seems like it's going to be a pretty good blend, um, eh, he says, without trying it. Uh, I've never had this before. Uh, it does it, it does seem to be a little bit on the dry side in the tin. I, it's probably intentional. Um, yeah, it's, it's really packed in there, but I'm not feeling any, any wet spots in here as I kind of break the, break that initial pack apart. So we'll see. We got a, ooh, we got a few sticks in there that's not what I like to see but um, anyway we'll get this uh, loaded up into a pipe and fired up and we'll find out if the wind god is uh, worth worshiping or not stay tuned got it lit um, right off the bat I'm picking up a really nice nuttiness from, I'm guessing, from the Burleys in here. There's a really good smokiness to it that's not overpowering. It's just perfectly, perfectly blended in there. Uh, each puff, I'm also getting a little bit of spiciness um, from the from the Perique. It's a really, really nice blend. Nothing is fighting for attention. Everything is easily detectable, but not overpowering each other. Just a good, good, solid blend. I'm really, really enjoying this. It's not heating up the bowl too much. I mean, I can touch it no problem. It's uh, 
seems to stay lit pretty well. I'm not getting any heat on my tongue. This is a, a zero tongue bite kind of a kind of a deal. And I'm smoking at a pretty pretty fast pace, so. And even though this isn't considered an aromatic or an English or anything else, the room note seems to actually be pretty pleasant, which I was I was surprised by. So anybody you may be sitting near while smoking this isn't going to be too offended. After uh, getting this going for a few minutes, because I, I smoked it for just a couple minutes to kind of get past that first uh, initial light phase before I, I started on camera here, um, I'm noticing quite a bit of a nicotine hit. Anytime you add Kentucky Dark Fired to a, a blend, it tends to notch up the nicotine amount a little bit. Um, I'm going to equate this blend to like that 60 ring cigar that you just absolutely want to finish, but by the bottom third you're kind of shaking. <laughs> um, I'm not going to say this is a blend for a big bowl of a pipe, um, small guy like my little cool Nording here. Um, perfect for the job. You're probably not going to want to smoke this all day. Um, unless you're one of those guys that smoke the Mac Baron Old Dark Fired all the day, every day. Um, you may have a little bit of trouble with this. It's pretty, the flavoring is pretty full, but the uh, it, it feels like this one's a little bit stronger than a lot of the tobaccos that I'm used to. So, um, so yeah, I'm not going to call this an all-day smoke. This is definitely a once a day, maybe twice, if you're feeling feeling brave. Um, <clears throat> but a really, really good solid blend. I'm going to highly recommend that you pick this one up. Um, my final verdict on this, we've got great, great balanced flavor by the airport, so that's going to happen. Anyway, we have great balanced flavor. We have wonderful throat hit from that nicotine um, which is also kind of a detractor from it just because of the amount of nicotine that's in there I, you know you can't smoke it I don't think I can smoke it all day anyway um, but no tongue bite great room note everything about this just says to me that this is a, a really good really great blend so I'm gonna give it a four and a half out of five stars I'm not gonna give it a five out of five because that's reserved for stuff that I could smoke all day one bowl right after the other which this is not it um, but I highly highly recommend that you go out and either to your local tobacconist or to one of the online purveyors and pick up a tin of this stuff it is absolutely worth it and I would say that the wind god is worth worshiping Anyway, this has been yet another review from my car. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.